Let's talk again about syllable types and syllabication. Now, we've already talked about syllable types. When we did um, like controlled R, single syllable words, and, and, and words that have, you know, closed vowels or, or open vowels, we kind of, we've mentioned those things in, in diagraphs and diphthongs and vowel teams. We've talked about syllable types. And uh, we've also talked about syllabication. Syllabication are the rules for chunking a multisyllable word into syllables. And these are the rules for breaking a multisyllable word into its syllables. There's a lot of ideas on this picture. For a beginner reader, it might be a little overwhelming because they never have uh, um, worked with syllabication or not that familiar with it. If you're a reading specialist, you might be like, yeah, I got to review all seven or eight rules, right? They're right here in this picture, looking at you, right here, right there, right now. But, you know, let's just, uh, let's just pick one. Let's do um, vowel, constant, constant, vowel. And let's just review this rule, this one right here, involving syllabication. And vowel, constant, constant, vowel, you know, works for two-syllable words, yes? And it helps with, you know, two-syllable words where there's a vowel, constant, constant, vowel. And the most basic words that involve vowel, constant, constant, vowel are like words like sister and after, where there's a vowel, constant, constant, vowel, vowel, constant, constant, vowel. And listen closely. There's a break between the two consonants, okay? And the first syllable is always, the first vowel is always short. So it's a short I in sister. It's a short A in after, right? So we would do this with, um, we would do this with words where uh, the vowel, constant, constant, vowel, the first one is a short vowel, right? Vowel, constant, constant, vowel, the first vowel is sh short. Those would be the easiest words to apply this rule with. Okay, now let's just, um, let's look at a question that involves this, okay? Um, and then we'll talk about how this, this could fit into your essay. But first, let's look at a question that involves this, and let, then we'll talk about how it connects to the essay. 